What's going on guys? This is Knasty3090 here. Welcome back to another episode of the Baltimore Oils franchise, episode 23. We're going the off season. We've lost in the ALCS back-to-back -back years to the Mariners. I think we gotta get better than the Mariners, I guess. That's the thing we need to focus on this offseason. If we see a guy that the Mariners have had that's a free agent, maybe we sign them, as long as it's a need, kind of to like subtract from them, add to us. So let's go into the offseason. Anyone on our team retire? No. Anyone on the Mariners retire? No one of importance. All right. Um, some giant Gerard. Oh, I just want to see if there's any big prospects who retired due to an injury. Did Ditter. Isaac Harden. Okay. Yeah. Andre Green. No. No. Uh, no B or better prospects, which I guess is a good thing. No Hall of Famers. So let's do no exclusive free agents. Um, staff is all set, so we have nothing to do until. Uh, Take that back. We now have a free agent. Moncada. Oh, this is interesting. Do we keep Moncada? Right now, we don't have anyone like in the pipeline ready. I think Morantz will... He's 76 overall. He was that late round gem. He can hit. I'm not sure if the fielding is ready. Um, and Moncada's going to want a lot of money. He's 30. He wants a max deal. I am going to let you go. We'll get an extra draft pick. Okay. Um, well, now Freeland's a free agent. Now, he's still pitching really well. Give him a qualifying offer. I would like to keep him. I'll do a two-year with a player option. Hopefully, he'll accept that. I don't want to overpay. I mean, we do have younger guys that we can call up. But then it's like, are we going to be... I mean, we can go with Sheridan. Who did pitch well for us. Someone as a long man, but then we don't have a ton of in insurance per se. We have some good players, but not like great. Um, so let's see. So, uh, yeah, we're just waiting. I mean, that's a full bar on that. Did he sign? He has not. So he's going to be a free agent. Arbitration, we got Fernando Hernandez, who. Did struggle a little bit, but his overall is going up and his potential is going up. What is his potential now? That's actually a really good question. Um, 85. I mean, it is something we could maybe look to improve on. I don't know. It's like, he's an elite fielder. He can steal some... Ba not really, actually. only stole eight bases. And I think the reason why he only stole eight bases is just not on base. <laughs> like, how many singles did he have last year? Actually, he had a quite a bit. I mean... He had 133 hits. He had like 70 times roughly. He was he got a single. Now were people on base? I don't know. His base run aggressiveness is 55, but I definitely want to keep him. And Griffin Canning, I'm probably just gonna let Canning walk. He struggled mightily last year, and we can have cheaper, better options. So a three. So he is a free agent. I think in three years, correct? Yes. So if we give him a three-year deal, he's 30, and then. He'll be a free agent. I think that's fair. Three years, 13.9, uh, 4.6 per year. So, tender contracts. We got Feltman, who last year on the pen pitched pretty well. 3-2-6. He's already th 29, so I, I don't want to go more than like just two years with him. And then we'll go from there. Joe Mar Reyes has been like a backup. He isn't a cannon for an arm. But he's barely played... Um, He's a he's a depth guy. I just want him to know that, and he doesn't like it. But he may be uh, he may be playing. I don't know. Booker Ryan, we could no, we can't move him. He has secondary position of second. I think he should be in the bigs though. Duke can hit. He's 22. Now the thing is, it's gonna stunt his growth playing a little bit, or we trade him. He might have a ton of value out there. Jeff Fontaine's 26 in ERA North of five. A five-year deal. For 3.5, he'll be 31. He's a free agent. I'll do that. That just buys out all his free agent years. And I'm going to front load it, or back load it. So we're going to pay him less now, more at the end of it, when I think he'll be better. Quint Holmes did was an outfielder for us. Didn't play well. Maybe that's what we're going to do, is try to get uh, a, a third outfielder. Because right now, um, we have Hernandez, and we have Phillips. Maybe that third outfielder would be big. But let me just sign the rest of these guys, and then we'll continue with the offseason.
All right, so before I go any further with this offseason, you guys all told me in the comments, and I missed this, so I'm going to fix it. I guess Cody Bellinger, his handiness got switched from left to right hand, and I must have made that by accident. It's now fixed. Um, sorry about that. So before we go any further, let's take a look in free agency. Um, the best two free agents are our players. Not really any great outfielders. Um, Bogarts is a free agent. He had that really pretty good year, 35 home runs. 294 average, 924 OPS. Um, I I think before we do anything with our free offseason, we need to know what happens with Kyle Freeland. So let's see him a couple days. Corbin Burns is an Astro. Tuki Tursant is a Red. Moncada is an Indian. All right. Um, did Freeland signed? He did. Perfect. So a two year deal, 26 million. Now, what is our budget looking like? We can still get a big name player now in free agency. I don't think there's anyone who was a Mariner. That's kind of what I wanted to like, like you know, take from them to add to us. But that's not going to happen. I think Bowers was with them. He was with Cleveland. I remember facing him. Um, so what I want to do is get an outfielder. Right now our outfield is looking like Phillips. We do have Eloy who couldn't play outfield, I guess. Hernandez, and we had Quentin Holmes. We tried um, Bledsoe. So I think Hernandez can stay, and he's just like that guy who's going to be an elite defensive player. So we either need an, a DH type player or for Elo, or where Elo can move the out, outfield or a um, outfielder. Now we could call up Zavada soon, but he is 24. He's taking a little longer to develop than I would like, but he does have 98 potential. And I think I might move on from Aragon. You guys make some good points in the comments. He's getting kind of up there in age. He's not really developing that fast anymore. And I think Booker, he's a really good prospect. Um, now, can Tatis play third? He can't. Um, and Rosader, I think, can play third, but his arm is terrible for it. He's a second baseman, unfortunately. We do have like other guys like Medrano, Guzman. But I want to get a big-time player. So what I'm going to do is a player search. I'm going to try to go nuts. Let's do potential of... 97 to 99. And let's just see what's out there. Soto's in year two of a massive contract. He is with Washington. He's only making 26 million, but it's going to go up and up. He's only 27. This past year, he hit 343 with 32 home runs. Um, He's probably can play the outfield. Not great, but he can play it. OPS was over 1,000. His war was six. Um, We could get him. Acuna, we're not going to be able to get prime from the Mariners. They're not going to trade with us. There's Eloy, which we obviously have him. Tatis, we have him. Brendan Rodgers is a free agent, but we don't need him. Victor Robles, obviously, with the Mariners. Um, so let's try to get Eloy. And not Eloy, excuse me. Let's try to get Soda. We have Eloy. There's also Vlad. Um... 38 home runs, 316, but we really don't need a third baseman. Well, actually, we do. I could go with the young kid, but I'd rather get the outfield and think Soto. So what do they want? They want starting pitching. Well, we have starting pitching in the system. I'd give up Josh Flowers. That's good. That's a good start. He's 28, but he does have an eighth potential, and it's pretty high. Um, I'd give up. Oh, Aragon hasn't signed his contract yet. Alright, we're going to have to wait a few days. And if you see, we have a bunch of people who are eligible for the Rule 5 draft, so I kind of... We still have some time before we have to make that decision. Soraka is a Blue Jay. Chavis is a Ranger. Jansen is a Padre. Caratini is a Padre. Jake Bowers is a Red. As long as no one's going to the Mariners, they're like our nemesis right now. Stevenson's an A. Mini Margot's an Indian. Alright, let's see if those... All right, you jack wagon, sign your contracts. I'm gonna give you a little bit more money. I'm not offering a contract to these guys because they're 30. Um, there's no point. All right, Quint Holmes didn't sign, but Aragon did. So let's go back and uh, let's just go to the Ah, uh, let's go to the Nationals and see if we can get Soto. So, the big piece is going to be Flowers and Aragon. We still need another big piece. 
Gonzalez isn't even a big enough piece. Um, Joey Bart is a big enough piece. Do we trade Joey Bart and go with Will Banfield as our catcher? And we do have Joey Fernandez working his way up through the system. And even further down the line is Arnold Patton. Well, let's see. We know that's an option. Um, so how much does Aragon move the needle? Quite a bit. But if I put Bard in, actually, I probably will still put him in. But actually, that moves it a lot. So we probably we can put like a guy like Osiris in. So we give up Joey Bart, and it's a pretty team friendly deal. He's only making six point two this year, and then it goes down to five point four, and then four point seven. He's a good catcher, but we can get Juan Soto, and we do have Will Banfield to back him up. So let's do that, and we get Juan Soto. He's ninety nine overall. He's locked up. His contract's gonna get expensive. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And we have Josh Flowers, who's an A potential, but he's 28. I mean, if you look on, like, the list of pro like pitching prospects, yeah, all these guys are older, but Sheridan's ahead of him. I'd even put Gallo ahead of him. I'd put Avila's right around there. Um, and then we got some other guys, like these 22-year-olds. And then Ojeda, Iverson. Like, yeah, he's not high on the list. But Joey Bart's a big name we're giving up. All right, so... I'm probably going to go with Ricky Morantz at third base. The dude should be fine there. And then we can have Joe Mar be his backup. Which is a serviceable backup for sure. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else we need to do. So most likely we'll have e uh, 71 fielding. So does, actually, I'll probably have Soto DH. 88 durability to 91. I don't know, maybe we'll switch it. Like Eloy will play versus... Right-handers has a DH, and left-handers will have Soto D. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Now, for um, players who lose in the Real 5 draft, there's a lot. So, um, let's go and select them. So, we don't lose them. Ortiz is 30. I don't... I mean, yeah. Pete Gallo probably is not eligible. He is not. Avilas is not. Eldridge probably is not. Look at 80 walks per night. Oh, he is. So, add him. And Chuck William probably isn't. Nope. The rest of these guys I'm not. Scandura, I guess I would like to keep him. Joey Fernandez most likely is not eligible. I am going to add Cumberland to the 40 man because he's going to be our backup catcher next year. Let's make sure these guys are not eligible. Oops. Guzman is not. So I'm going to add Morantz to the 40 man because he's going to be our third baseman. Go with the kid. Let's just He's 76 overall, so we should still play fine. He played well last year. Um, Aragon, we still now have the option of trading him. Booker Ryan should not be eligible, so I might just keep him in the minors one more year. I don't know, he's an 80 overall. Um, Gonzalez probably is not eligible. Oh, Villa for White Day, we need to keep, and that's pretty much it that I care about. Now, I want to just think. So, our bullpen right now is Diaz, Hernandez, Myrix, Franklin. We have a good bullpen. Um, rotation of Freeland, Allard, Rodriguez, Hall, Fontaine, and Sheraton's a long man. Yeah, I don't think we need anything else. I mean, we, we're going young at third, but then we got Juan Soto. That gives us a big time, massive middle of the order bat. So that's big. Um, our budget's still pretty good. Um, and then next offseason, only free agents Edwin Diaz and Castro, but we can get it. We'll probably let them both go. So we're in a good spot. Banfield's not going to be our catcher. But we got Tatis, hopefully, make that big bump. Eloy made that big bump last year. Maybe Mike Phillips really turns into a big. Big time power hitter. Maybe you can get like 40 next year. I don't know. But that's pretty much what we need to do for the offseason. Um, so let's yeah, finish it. All right, all right. There you go. You happy? Nick Senzel's a Brewer. Austin Riley's an Angel. Daniel Robertson's a White Sox. 
Franco is a Red. R.C. is a Philly. Thomas Panoin is a Cub. Xander's a Ranger. Okay, four years. Not a big deal for him. Four years, $67 million. That's 16 a year. Blake Trahan is in Stroh. Same with Lopez, Jorge Lopez. Dillinson Lamette's a Blue Jay. Jaime Barria is a Phil. Gomber is a Mariner. Patrick Wisdom's a Pirate. Stroman is a National. Angels are interested in trade Tommy Eldridge for Tyler Freeman. We really don't need a shortstop. So I'm going to say no to that. Rule 5 draft. I'm just going to skip it. I don't think we have... We do have a spot in the 40-man, but I'm just going to skip it. We don't need anyone. All right, and let's finish off the offseason. Adul Herrera is a Met. Colin Moran is a Mariner. He hit 29 home runs. Now the Mariners got him. God damn it. Garrett Cole is a National. Brady Rogers is a White Sox. All right, let's go to the regular uh, contract extensions. Diat, he's 32, so I'm probably just going to let him walk. We do have his replacement already here. Stuart Franklin's 28, so I'm not going to sign him. Banfield's, um, a three-year deal at 1.2 million after this year, and he's only making a couple hundred thousand. That's a great deal, and that's all I really care about. Um. So the regular season. Rotation. Freeland, Allard, Rodriguez, Hall, Fontaine, Sheridan. Perfect. Bullpen looks stacked. And Jackie Hernandez is going to be our closer moving forward. Um, once Diaz walks this offseason. The lineup. Rosner. No, Phillips is going to lead off. Rosner batting second. Did hit 296 with. Yeah, let's go. Cool. That was the young kids. <clears throat> and then. Actually, let's go Soto too. Eloy, 3. Bellinger, 4. Tatis, 5. Roger, 6. And then, where is the kid? The kid's not up. Ricky Morantz. We have to send down someone, probably, Edmardo Merced. He'll have to pass waivers. He'll pass waivers. Banfield, 8. Hernandez, 7. So, yeah. I mean, the top of this lineup, and then Eloy batting third, you're like, really, Eloy third? Yes, he hit 45 home runs. Um, so, <clears throat> Phillips is going to be playing over, I guess, Eloy. Soto, there's that. Hernandez, perfect. And then Phillips, Soto. And I'm kind of doing this, we get like a right, left, right, left type of thing. And then lastly, all right, let's see what we are ranked. Number one, first in power, first in pitching, third in conduct, 23rd in defense, 25th in speed. Um, Blue Jays are 25th, Yankees are 19th, Rays are 4th, Red Sox are 22nd, and our arch nemesis, the Mariners, are 2nd. So, yep. Let's take a look at top prospects. Pete Gallo's number one, triple A. Um, Aragon's at 13. Anyone else? Zapata's at 18. Jeff Gonzalez is at 20. I mean, he can really hit. Ray Filler Wet Day is at 22. Javier Guzman's second baseman is at 25. Chris Ojeda's at 28. Chuck William, a closer, is at 40. And that's it. So, um, Zarats isn't even a top prospect. Or Morantz, excuse me, is not even a top prospect. But I like the kid. And like I said, we have a good backup in um, Jomar Reyes. So yeah, um, I think we're going to be fine. So next episode, we'll do the regular season, see how we do. Our budget is looking really good. Um, as you can see, next offseason, it's just like the only guy we're going to probably lose is uh, Edwin Diaz. Unless like Carfrelian doesn't have a player option. He does. So he could be a free agent. That's pretty much it. Like I said, Castro... Can be a free agent. It's not the biggest loss. We are set. And then where is um? Yeah, I guess Will Banfield contract. He's making four hundred thousand this year, and then the next three years one point two million. And he's our, he's an eighty five overall catcher, like, and I think he's gonna, he could really develop. So we are in a very good spot, and our budget's still positive three hundred twenty one thousand. We're actually going to have an extra draft pick too, because we lost Moncada. I don't even know what team Moncada went to. So I guess before we end the video, let's. 
I guarantee whatever it's signed, whatever team signed him has like a better option. Usually that's the case. They have no, yeah, he's the best option for the Indians. So good for them. They got a big time player. Just I wasn't gonna pay him that money. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Drop a like if you did enjoy it. Sub if you're new. I'll talk to y'all later. Take it easy. Peace.